In this video, I will talk about dual of Milman's theorem. So, what is the dual of Milman's theorem? It states that if we have n current sources, I1, I2, just like this, In, having their internal resistances R1, R2, Rn, connected in parallel with them. See, I1 is connected in parallel with its internal resistance R1. I2 is connected in parallel with its internal resistance R2. In is connected in parallel with its internal resistance Rn. Okay, so this is the first portion. And if these parallel combinations of current source and resistance are connected in series, that means if the parallel combination of I1, R1 is in series with parallel combination of I2, R2. This, just like this, the parallel combination of In, Rn is in series with all these parallel combinations. Then we can replace the total current or the current through a b path by an equivalent current source whose value will be i equivalent in parallel with a resistance r equivalent that means if i have a circuit like this i1 in parallel with r1 i2 in parallel with r2 i n in parallel with r n and these parallel combinations are connected in series we can replace this entire network with a single current source i equivalent in parallel with a single resistance r equivalent with respect to this a and this b terminals and how do we calculate the total current or equivalent current i e q to calculate I equivalent, at first I have to remove this load resistor across this A and B terminals. After removing the load resistor, we will connect this A and B terminal with a short circuit. The current that will be flowing through this AB short path will be our I equivalent. And how do we calculate this I equivalent? I equivalent will be equal to plus minus I1 R1 plus minus I2 R2 plus minus I N R N divided by R1 plus R2 up to Rn. Now when do we use plus sign or minus sign? See if the current source is supplying current from left to right, we will assume the sign as positive. If the current sources supply the current from right to left, we will assume that current as negative. So, I will use minus sign in front of I1, R1 or I2, R2 or I n, R n. So, this is how we calculate the value of this current source. Now, how do we calculate the R equivalent? That means the resistance with respect to this terminal and this terminal. To calculate R equivalent, at first you have to replace the current sources with open circuit. That means I will remove the current sources from our network. See, if I remove the current sources from our network, our circuit will look like this. Now look at the terminal A and B. You will see the resistances R1, R2, Rn. All of them are connected in series. So our R equivalent will be equal to R1 plus R2 plus R N. Okay, that's it. In my next video, I will show you an example of duality of Milman's theorem. Okay, that's it. Thank you.